Look, I don't know if Stephen A. Smith is the best journalist who I think take take news from and uh, I think report on because he has said some really interesting and outrageous stuff over his lifetime, right? But you know what? At least that shit puts a smile on our face. Like, eh, does anyone remember the time where that dude was like, I don't know, live streaming on his Pornhub account or whatever he was doing and like Shaq called him up? Tex, are you there? Yeah, first of all, you got to take that damn cowboy hat off and stop talking about the damn cowboys. You understand me, son? Well, we, who, who are you? You understand you, me, son? Who Jerry is Jones this? But again, he actually recently just said that Devin Booker not only wants to join the Knicks, but the New York Knicks are interested in Devin Booker. Again, they recently just had a really, really bad playoff series where they got swept by Anthony Edwards, who... He just kind of became the dad of Devin Booker. And I feel like Devin Booker, for some reason, has a lot of dads in the NBA. And this is coming from a dude who I think Devin Booker is actually a very, very good player. But unfortunately, he just hasn't had the best run in the playoffs. And there's a lot of rumors around happening that he might actually request a trade slash get traded to benefit the Phoenix Suns team because they're kind of stuck in a hole with... Bradley Beal's contract and again Kevin Durant really at times playing like third fiddle to those two scorers and it's just not exactly where you particularly want to go again there will most likely be some type of change to this Phoenix Suns team I still don't think Devin Booker is going to get traded but would he be a good player for the New York Knicks right I usually have an answer for all of you guys on whether or not a player would be good or not for this particular team but with the new york knicks it's just so incredibly hard right and the reason i say it's so incredibly hard to know if someone will be a good player for them is mainly their coach tom thibodeau this dude has a really big knack at only having players who can play good defense be a good player on his team before jalen brunson who is low-key an okay defender not as bad as what some people think he is but before he had him he had so many offensive players over his lifetime just be terrible because they couldn't fit into his defensive game plan again does anyone remember the offseason where they signed Kemba Walker and Evan Fournier to decent-ish money and both of those players were just absolutely terrible for the New York Knicks and just I guess, didn't work out. Again, there have been a ton of other offensive players previously that just haven't worked. But I think with Devin Booker, it's a little bit of an exception because this dude is an all-star and is arguably the best shooting guard in the NBA. Again, you could argue him, Donovan Mitchell, or Anthony Edwards. It, it really doesn't matter <laughs> because, again, Anthony Edwards just is absolutely creaming everyone without consent at this rate. But again... The New York Knicks also in a situation where it's like, yeah, he might be good for the New York Knicks, but could could they actually trade for him? Again, they have a ton of picks, don't get me wrong, but their contract situation is a little bit weird, and they don't particularly have the players that I think Phoenix would be maybe targeting if they were to make this trade. I think if the Phoenix Suns were to, of course, make this trade, they'd be looking for a power forward and they'd be looking for a point guard. We obviously know the Knicks are not going to get rid of Jalen Brunson. And then in terms of their point guard, they have a ton of other different people run point guard. Sometimes again, we obviously know Julius Randle just runs point forward. Josh Hart has the ball in his hands sometimes as well. Uh, again, Miles McBride is there too. It's really interesting though, to see because not only do they not have I think again the what the Phoenix Suns are probably going to want in terms of players but it's also like where do the New York Knicks fit him in terms of salary cap because next season you're going to be paying Julius Randle 30 million dollars right not the worst you're going to be paying Jalen Brunson uh 24 million dollars which is very good value you're going to be playing uh Boyan Bogdanovich around 20 million dollars and then again, OG Ananobi is probably going to be getting about a $35 million deal, especially with how many teams are interested in him. You've still got Mitchell Robinson on 
uh, 14 million. Josh Hart will be on 18 million next year. DiVincenzo on 11 million. Uh, Burks, they, I'm guessing, will probably be bring back on 10.5 million. If they want to bring back Hartenstein, it's probably going to be on about 15 million per season off that bench as well. This team is paying a lot of bench guys, right? To bring in Devin Booker, it's going to be not only hard to match the contracts, I believe he's on like 45 million, but also like if you pay him the 45 and you're paying OG the 35, then you've also got Brunson on 25, Bogdanovich maybe on 20 if he's not in the trade, and then OG on like, uh, then um, Randall, sorry, on 30. But if you do that, it's like, who do you trade? Obviously, Randall would have to get traded in this. Do Phoenix really want Randall? Again, Julius Randall is a terrific player and is awesome for this New York Knicks team. But he doesn't really fix what the Phoenix Suns need. He's another shot creator who will arguably take shots away from Kevin Durant, which is not going to fix the problem. If you were the, the Knicks, you could offer up Bogdanovich on 20 million, maybe Hart on the 18 million, and Burks and a bunch of first round picks. But again, there's no way Phoenix are accepting that deal. Not just that, you don't particularly want to get rid of Josh Hart if you are the New York Knicks. He has been so awesome for this Knicks team. Why would you want to move on from him, you know? So it just, it doesn't make sense at all. None of this makes sense. And this is what I always say about Donovan Mitchell, right, to the New York Knicks. People always say Mitchell is going to get traded to the Knicks. Again, I also don't think that's going to happen because it's like, who do you trade? The Cavs aren't going to want Randall just because they've already got Mobley and Allen. They would love OG Ananobi, but you're probably not going to trade him up if you're the Knicks. Brunson and D. Mitch would not work together. For starters, would Brunson and Booker work together? I'm not sure. Would Booker and Tibbs work together? I'm also not too sure. The Knicks have a really awesome foundation right now. It's just a shame they have a ton of injuries. If I was the... Uh, of course, Phoenix Suns, and I was for some reason to trade Devin Booker, which as I would like to reiterate, I still don't think they will, then you're going to have to go in and bring what you need, which is a point guard, a power forward, I guess a bunch of picks, and some more, some more depth, right? Which is not going to be exactly that easy to find. In fact, I'm scouting NBA teams right now, and it really is hard to think of a team here that could possibly offer not only a point guard and a power forward that they might want. The Chicago Bulls are actually pretty interesting. Like, low-key, I mean, Lonzo, I know he's... If this was prime Lonzo, like, if we had Lonzo back, that would be cool. Again, do the Phoenix Suns take a flyer on him and think that maybe he'll get good again? I'm not sure. Because Lonzo, oddly enough, would actually be perfect for Beal and Kevin Durant. It's just that he hasn't played basketball in a long time. And then Levine and Booker would be one of the worst defensive backcourt duos. I think you will probably ever, ever see at that rate. Again, it's really, really hard to know who, who you go for. Again, I'd very much like to hear what you guys think down below, though. Um, who should, if the Phoenix Suns do trade Booker, should they... Who should they go and send him to? Do you think they possibly will? Because I know I definitely don't. Do you guys think the New York Knicks are even going to be interested in him? Because as I just said, I definitely don't think they are uh, probably not going to be interested in him at this rate. Uh, what do you guys think about what Stephen A. Smith said? Let me know down below. But yeah, subscribe to my, my gaming channel, my RSI long channels, and this channel if you haven't already. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.